Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 4th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Uh, this week, you start off with two threes. Um, threes have been kind of coming up for people uh, this week. I would say that it could be the retrograde, number one. Three of Diamonds says double check all your paperwork at this time. Uh, so again, it could just be the retrograde energy just, you know, causing minor annoyances. I always say Three of Diamonds is the card of minor annoyances. It's not a big deal, and it doesn't even have to create anything in your life. This card could is just a card that says, make sure that little annoying things don't happen just by, you know, double checking your paperwork if you're submitting anything important or double checking, you know, purchases and things like that. You know, the typical retrograde stuff with this card. Next, you have the Three of Spades, and Three of Spades can be a card of separation. Some of you dealing with separation or going through the separation, it would already be happening. This represents separation that's already in the process. Um, so you could be dealing with that type of energy. For the rest of you, I'd say watch your health with this card. It's a card of, you know, uh, problems with your health or, you know, getting sick or something like that. So make sure to take plenty of rest and drink plenty of water. Uh, the good news is you have the Four of Clubs. This card can represent recovery. So I'd say if you get sick, there's probably a quick recovery for you. This card also represents clarity. I always say this card, to me, is the card of Mercury Retrograde. To me, it represents re the retrograde energy. To me, it represents Mercury Retrograde and, you know, dealing with the retrograde type of energy. The good news about this card is I also say it represents clarity during a retrograde. So I think that you are probably one of the signs that will be experiencing a great deal of clarity during this retrograde, and it will probably lead you off onto a new path by the time you start the new year, pretty much. Uh, so I do like to see that for you as well. Um, it's funny because this card totally represents like learning, which we would normally do during a retrograde. And, but it's also a card of like just figuring it out, just in general, figuring out what you're supposed to be doing. So I think that there's a great deal of clarity for you, uh, in the month of December, even though this is only a weekly reading. Uh, next you have the Ace of Spades, existing problems being resolved. So really great card of overcoming difficulties. Like I said, I wouldn't even worry about those threes that you have in the beginning because I think that those things will clear up very, very quickly. This card is definitely a card of the past and thinking about the past and thinking about past issues. So again, try not to get bogged down by that, but it can also be a great card that exposes things that you don't need in your life anymore. Uh, it could be tiny little things or, you know, major big things. So a lot of you could be cutting things out that you, uh, that, you know, things that no longer serve you or things that are just holding you back or, you know, keeping you held back. So uh, I really like that card as well. Next, you have the two of hearts perfect match. You also have the uh, Jack of Hearts here in your reading, uh, which can represent admire. So there could be love on the table for those of you who are looking. This card represents a perfect match. And even if you are not looking, this can represent uh, just matching up perfectly with a situation or something that makes you really happy uh, at this time. So it's definitely a very good card. Um, for, for some of you, I feel like, it, again, I feel like it's just clarity. Um, I feel like this card is just saying, um, that you are matching up with your future, basically. You are just very clear as to, you know, what exactly you need to do uh, to move forward in the future. Next, you have the Jack of Hearts, like I said, can represent an admirer, somebody who's interested in you at this time. And for others, it can just represent needing to have more fun, needing to do more things that you enjoy. I do feel like uh, the curiosity angle on this card right now, I feel like you need to be curious and uh, need to explore new things this month. And then finally, you have the Seven of Hearts. Um, again, this is a good card of going back to the to your roots. I think one other sign had this same message. Um, you know, Mercury retrograde going back. I think a lot of people could be going back to the past, but it could be actually beneficial at this time. You know, looking at past things or you know, working at looking at situations that worked in the past and, and using those things today, using that knowledge of you know past success for future success again. So I do feel like there is some sort of karmic benefit to this card for you this week, which is uh, definitely very exciting. But it looks like a great week. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.